our break-ins continue to plague residents of a Macon neighborhood. The Highland subdivision off Mumford Road has seen its share of burglaries this summer, and neighbors say last night they were hit again. I was in the neighborhood this afternoon to find out what was going on. It happened just about a month or so ago, too. Jody Rigby couldn't believe it when, for the second time in two months, so, someone broke into her car, but the first time they didn't take anything. This morning, though, she'd forgotten her wallet. I opened the door to put my kids' backpacks in, and I noticed that my bags in the front seat had all been dumped out. And once I got to this side, I realized that the door was open. It was, so it was not shut. It was like this. Canceled all my credit cards, canceled my bank card. Lieutenant Sean Defoe with the Bibb Sheriff's Office says last July there were 10 car break-ins in that one neighborhood. He said the suspects in nine of them have been arrested. Last night's two reported break-ins have residents on edge. It concerns me very much. People want to steal what doesn't belong to them and come in the neighborhood and violate you. Residents say after this summer's rash of car break-ins, they just want their peace of mind back. This is the second time this summer that it's happened. So fortunately, the houses haven't been bothered. It's just the car. So from now on, I'm going to be parking in the garage. Lieutenant Defoe tells me last night's break-ins are still being investigated. He reminds everyone to lock your car doors. Don't leave valuables in the car. And if you can, as Jody said, park your car in the garage. Of course, if you have any information on last night's break-ins, you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME.